I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video I will show you three essential NeoVim plugins for software development. Installing too many NeoVim plugins comes with big disadvantages. Your software becomes bloated, for example, your startup time is decreased, more software always means more bugs, the maintainer of your plugin can quit, then you're out of maintenance, which will cause problems when updating required software components. There will be inconsistencies because there's not a single person or group overseeing all plugins, for example with respect to key bindings or the help system. You're getting used to them, that means it will be harder to return to plain Vim. And of course, there are security risks. Any plugin can potentially snoop around your file system, steal your bitcoins and send them to a remote server, and so on. By installing a plugin, you implicitly trust the author. Always keep that in mind. But some of the plugins are essential. Without them, I would personally not use NeoVim for software development. They add missing functionality and greatly improve the user experience. Here are the top three. The first in my list is NeoVim LSP config to enable the language server. It's an official plugin, therefore the security risk is minimal. It will give you access to powerful language features such as code completion, go to definition, renaming, and it will highlight errors and give you suggestions. Without that plugin, you would be left with, for example, C tags, which in many ways is inferior. Next in my list is M. Fusenegger NVIM DAP to add support for the debug adapter protocol. Especially when you're using a dynamic language, such as Lua or JavaScript, you won't have access to static type information. If you're just developing tiny apps, that might not be a big problem, but as soon as you're in a team and a big software project, you will not know the definition of all objects. You could perform some printf debugging or use the command line interface debugger, but in my experience, this is suboptimal. With nvim dab, you can actually debug your source code, stop the execution flow, inspect variables, and so on. So let's just add a breakpoint here, debug this chest test, and now I can inspect my test variable and I can see the object. As an alternative, you can use Vim Spectre, which also works for Vim and not just for NeoVim, but it's also a bit slower and more cluttered in my opinion. The last plugin in my list is NVim Telescope Telescope. In principle, it's not necessarily essential, but its quality of life improvements make it a must have. It lets you, for example, fuzzy search for files. For example, here I search for test and I have instant feedback and a nice preview. Or I can grab the contents of files, for example, here const app and I can see the results. It's quite popular among the NeoVim community and has good interop with other plugins. For example, in NVIM Dev, when I set some breakpoints, I can see all breakpoints using Telescope. The plugin-less alternative would be to append star star to your path and using the built-in commands find and grab, for example, find app test.js. If you know the name of your file, you will directly navigate to it. Or for example, find samp and the star if you don't know the exact file name and also this works. But especially when you don't know the file structure of your code base, this is quite cumbersome and Telescope is a lot easier. An alternative plugin is FCF, also quite popular and also available for Vim. If you want to know more about the listed plugins, have a look at my NeoVim playlist, which is also linked in the description. That concludes my list. Now, what are your most important plugins? Please let me know by writing them in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.